Cats like boxes. The only interesting thing I've got, dude, is the poncho. Clearly, I need to pick something else up. Sure, what? Yeah, there's some things that are easy to miss when you're inside of these places. Hide and seek inside the box. I messed around with the beads. Those were from. I don't know if you. I got. I'm sure y'all had them, but the, we used to have the bead curtains going into bedrooms and stuff. Not going into bedrooms. We we've like had them before, where um, when it's on hot days and things, and you're leaving your uh, doors and things open, like your your back door or something. Like put one up to almost try and stop flies from coming through kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, nice hang on. No the ones we had would never stop a fly from coming. That's for sure. No, the, the ones, the ones like we had were more kind of, um, not like beads, but there would be like more, um, like netting or like little okay. strips of plastic kind of thing. Okay, I, I, yeah. I do know, I do know what you mean by the beads. Yeah. Yeah. The beads were completely decorative. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, and that they use that and like a lot of uh, freezers, like walk-in freezers, going from you know, clear, clear kind of plastic and strips that overlap each other, and then you rock through, uh, and it keeps kind of things divided. But now nah, the beads were was like at least here it was a it was a '70s '80s thing, and like teen teenagers had them and they put them in their room and then it apparently it came back because my oldest daughter she got them she wanted she wanted that to go and you know and i put them up on her uh outside of her door just get, to me they're annoying but when you're younger they were they were kind of cool you had a major fridge when you was eight to ten years old. Then you went into the fridge. We're playing hide and seek. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, never had a fridge that big. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my papa still to be alive. I miss him so much. We need a weapon to fight the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. You just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me. I'll try to. I'll open the door for you. Well, somebody in the slums can help. Um, sure, Momo could probably help, right? Momo, the slow mo. Thanks, Marty. <laughs> yeah. Marty McBride. You know, that dude never gets that paint spot cleaned up. <laughs> I'm really sure to find, uh, get connection back. Did you find anything interesting? Yes, we did. Which is nice, but it looks broken. Maybe somebody in the village can help you repair it. Did you ask at the bar? No, because I thought you'd be able to fix it for us. What can I do for you? What a beautiful object, a rare too. I know a guy fixes stuff like this. He's very talented, just a little, well, you'll see. His name's Elliot, his office is just left of here near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Okay.
Isn't that some of like the semantic symbol stuff? Maybe it's just a coincidence. Yep, not sure. I'm not sure. Like, there's a lot of things I saw that uh, kind of had an, yeah, Easter the, egg, uh, an Easter egg feeling to me. Yeah, I the um, I, I don't know if they actually meant it or not, but it seems to likely that they did. I don't know. It's like the, um, the the sort of symbol stuff that they use in um, the Alien universe. This is actually called like I think it's I'm sure it's called like semantic symbols or something that all like mean different things. Um, just reminded me a bit of that. Uh, right. Oh wow, that's great, Tracker. I recognise this model. It's the Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. Ching! I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. How about a poncho? Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. I love the way like the robot saying like they're they're shivering. Yeah, I know. Like you're a fucking robot. Like, not only are, are they like are, not only have they developed intelligence and like um they also have, like a conscious they've also developed like feelings and uh, emotions yeah nervous system yeah that's what i was like what do you mean you're you're feeling chilly you're a fucking robot no, no tremor no tremors i'm able to work again thanks now i can definitely fix your tracker <laughs> let me take a look just gotta give it an update one more thing voila that's not what I expected, I have to say. It's not what I expected Pancho on. Here you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. It's a bit of a celebratory full scratch. Excellent. Oh my god, they do the arch back. Um, okay. Yeah, I still, I still think even though they only have a, a certain set of animations, but they work really well of, of how a cat's move. Look at all this great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. We should go visit the Barterman. There's something for everyone over there. Hey, you never talked to that dude before? I talked to him, like, right when I got there. I don't remember him being there before, if I'm completely honest. Can't go up to the top. Yeah, there's. As far as I'm aware, there's nothing there. Other than uh, knocking, uh, knocking off the brakes. What am I? I need to find that dude again. Um, uh, right behind you. Which is there. No, I need to find uh, Seamus again. I can't remember where he was. Um... Oh, Siamus? <laughs> oh, I know where he was. Uh... He was somewhere. Over here, I believe. Sure did. You fixed it. Well done. You were here. Yeah, I think I've got that on PlayStation. I think it was on PlayStation Plus at one point, Mika. I think it's in my library. Uh, I, yeah, I played it when it first came out. 
you trip from here? Yeah. Uh, not bad. I, I played it for a couple hours. But, I don't know. I, I think it's a good game. I just got bored with it. And I guess partly because I didn't pay for it. I just got oh. an off off-site backup. You know, gotta make sure. You've always gotta, you've always gotta you know, do backups. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. I try, I try my best to keep backups in games. I guess we're gonna go through this door says not safe and, and of course an NPC that does not go at the same rate as you. <laughs> this one This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Yeah, time for a little fun. I'm going to walk through there and you're going to shut the door on me, aren't you? Well, it's not a hatch, it's locked from the inside for no reason. Come on, Marty. Too many. Yeah. The real, the, the real question is how many has he completed? <laughs> That's both are good questions. I've, complete, I've, 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 I've completed all the ones that I like. I've completed. Uh, if they're completable, some games are not. Like, you know, uh, Team Fortress or. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unless you know, unless you consider winning a completion, then yeah, Half Life uh, campaign, lots of multiplayer completed. I, I've completed all of Portal's games. The only one I haven't played or haven't been interested in playing is Dota, uh, and I played a little bit of Counter Strike for a while, but yeah, but the the, the rest of their games of uh, like Half Life and all the iterations. Episode one, episode two, or whatever, and yeah, I played all of them. And then uh, a bazillion puzzle games, and uh, yeah, uh, I would say at this point, I've probably just taken a wild guess. I've completed zero dollars with two. Two ninety nine chipping. Every now and then, he come across. <laughs> Look at how huge this wall is. Just tell me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and Midtown. And the fact that the, and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Maybe. All right. I'm guessing this is the point of no return. Dead end. Sounds promising. <laughs> yeah. 
cannot go back. See, this is a different game style. You were more strategic in your route. I, I just sprinted. And, and I pretty much avoided most of the jumps other than the ones you had to do. Yeah, now you're doing what I started to do in the first place, which is dodge. Dodge, du hit, dive, and dodge. Three D's of dodgeball. Yep, this is where you get to place the physics you've already experienced. It's a bit weird because, like, sometimes you can jump further than you really think you, you, you're able to jump. Well, you're a cat. You can I jump know you're a cat, far. but you can still you, you can jump as far as you want. Yeah, cats are magical. Do I get to do I get to ride? That that'd be cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> Air boot. They have the delay between the sound and Yeet. Cat eat. <laughs> are you okay? That was a huge fall. Dock should be nearby. We must close. We must be close. Sorry. Oh. Uh oh. There we go. Hop it off, cat. Hop it off. Give me a little lick. It's fine. Yeah, walk it out. There we go. Yeah, just gotta walk it off. You're fine. Been through all this already. That that little bit ain't gonna bother you. I love the way it like. B12 is just like, oh yeah, Doc must be close. Well, if uh, Seamus had given us the uh, right locator, we'd know for sure. Right, so we can jump over there. I look down here though first as well. Make sure we're not... Uh, Hey. Uh, say my mom's cat. She is as you know, you know, female female cats that are usually the hunters and of any size cat. Uh where that cat can jump like no cat I've ever seen. Yeah. Like like the jumps this cat makes is nothing. Like that fence, you had to jump on the AC unit and then go over the fence. This cat literally can jump up straight up eight feet and, okay. and land perfectly on top of their headboard. Seen so many times a cat is jumping over three meters on top of a fireplace or a bookshelf. Yeah, I suppose they, they, they can jump. I mean I've got I've got six and eight feet fence uh, foot feet fences around the back of my property and there's often cats that like traverse like come through our garden and they can just easily scale to the top of them so well yeah. even if it's taller even if it's higher than they can jump if they can they can jump and then they'll put a a couple claws in and then give them a couple extra couple feet or so a boost to get over and they read it like that and just boom yeah, like like cats are natural parkour uh, 
freaking amazing. So I'd say he always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and no one could have done that for at least a hundred years. Why though? When we get to the outside, what if we find ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and lots of books? I think that's what the scientists would have wanted. First, we should go find Doc. All right, so like, again, though, like the fact that they're like that they're discussing the f like can't do something for a hundred years kind of suggests to me that there's there there was some sort of disaster that ended life on the outside. We'll see. Yeah. Like I said uh, last night, uh, as far as I remember, like all the questions you have and actually say out loud uh, were the same questions I had. And as far as I remember, they were all answered. Okay. Or at least uh things that happened it, it was kind of you know in between the lines kind of thing we're playing basketball we love to find something to put into there electrical generator but it seems to require some other part to function already ascertain that. Just need to weigh in. Uh, maybe we just need to follow the wire. Mm. That sounds like some solid logic. And then he doesn't. <laughs> and then he does. Not liking the look of that though. It's uh It's a bit dodgy. Hey, you You're going where no man or cat has gone before. And it's probably a good reason for that. Yeah, if only his three fins said, like, uh, when they watched him fall down, went down with him so that they could help him out. But no. I like, screw you. Yep. Oh, well, you're gone. Well, it's like, well, you're the stupid fool that fell down there. So, yeah, okay. Uh, Go, go tease the head crabs. You're on your own now. <laughs> hey, here's Doc. Whoa! Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? It's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, shame, it's a clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I come here to test my defluxer, but I didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. It's interesting how I approach games whenever I play games, I'm not asking any questions, what is to come or what might happen in games, but when I watch not for playing games, I'm always aware, I'm, then I am more aware of story. It's just one of the, the way, like, I quite like to play games like that, I'm always, like, asking myself questions, and always, yeah. like, trying to... Think, think ahead of what's going to happen or where the story might be leading. Um, yeah, seems, well, that's the whole point. I mean, the storyline is a big part of this. I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, it's 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 kind like, of like, like I suppose this it's the same as anybody. The same as anybody would play a game, but I just find like when I'm streaming, it's I, I like to vocalize my thoughts just so you guys know what I'm thinking and and yeah, um, yeah. you know what I'm trying to put together, sort of thing. So 
Yeah, nine. You're really good at it. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around, making lots of noise. Oh yes, I remember now, they were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Yeah, I guess so. I guess. Hey, we're over 50% of the memories recovered. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. A full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gig gigawatts to work. It, that's that's where it, <laughs> it dawned on me. It was 1.21 gig, uh, gigawatts. As they said, it shows giga, but it's 1.21 gigawatts, which is in Back to the Future. Yeah. And that, that's, that's when it dawned on me. That was Doc. And yeah. But yeah, you caught it earlier. Again, uh, again though, maybe it's sort of like the... Um... Obviously, the, the the robots and the AI have kind of like uh, developed this personality kind of thing all on their own. Maybe, you know, this is probably like completely detached from the story, of course, but maybe they found a Back to the Future films or something and they yeah. decided to take on the personalities of people from, or, you know, not just this, but maybe they, they took on personalities of the people that they saw maybe in books or in films or something if they were... That sort of clever kind of thing, but um, yeah, like I said, it's uh, probably going above and beyond the actual um, like scope of the scale of the story. Yeah, which I which I like, but uh, as soon as you said it, I didn't like I I forgot about that part. Like when you said like the vest and the the, yeah. the, the, the head and the wires, like crazy crazy looking doc. It's like, damn, man, yeah, you, you, you nailed it, because later on, which this part where it says 1.21 gigawatts, you know, you need that lightning strike to, oh yeah, uh, you know, to go back to the future. But, uh, so yeah, you, uh, you, you definitely hit on stuff uh, much better than I do. The problem is that it won't start. I think I blew a fuse blue, and with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go and fix it. It's not fast enough. You, I'm not fast enough, but you might just be. You can regenerate and refine the fuse. I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Obviously, I, I guess maybe even the name defluxer is like a take on like the flux capacitator kind of thing that they use in Back to the Future. I don't know. Maybe, again, maybe just yeah. looking at things too much. But, uh, flux play capacitor. Game. Yeah, I just play games and want to get to the end as fast as possible, which I don't get why I do it. I really don't pay attention to the detail of the story. I do get the bigger picture when I've completed the game. Yeah, you know, so I mean, some some games I find I think it's like pretty important to read the story and take your time and think about it and um, fully comprehend what's going on. Or else, you know, sometimes games don't make sense if you don't fully understand those sorts of things. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I have to say personally, I I do both. Uh, if it's depending on the kind of game, uh, I, I'll tend to just go to play it to beat it, and that's it. And and yeah, I I follow the story, but I don't I feel enticed to go into too much detail if there's always constant constant reading or like. Yeah, uh, I mean that that was that's. And, and I've been vocal about this before, but that was one of my things I found with the um, the Road to Kahina DLC for um, the Talos Principle. Although the puzzles were really good, for me, there was far too much reading in Road to Kahina. Yeah, um, and I hate that. Really I, don't, quite... I, don't, I don't mind, like, uh, in, like, in this game, that you can... There, it's nothing too long. Like some games, you got to sit there and read for five minutes of a conversation, and it's not yeah. really inter it's not really entertaining. It, 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 to, you know, it's just like filling, it's like filler. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's also it's, almost it's like pad, padding yeah, to make it that a little bit longer. Yeah, uh, which I don't care about. So yeah, there's some games like what Mika's talking about that I I just play and I just automatically go through and just to finish the game and have yeah. fun with it and have fun with it that way. And then there's some games like this one I've read everything because it wasn't it wasn't overwhelming and it wasn't just a wall of text. Yeah. Er, you know, every time you interacted, you didn't get just a freaking wall of text where you had a scroll button and all that, like some games. You had a little conversation pretty quick, and it's straight to the point. Tells you what you need to know. Fills yeah. you in on the storyline, and off you go. I mean, you know, that I, I love that. That's why one of the things that I loved about this game. They, they made the story fun to me. Yeah, take this fuse. It's brand new. Right. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Impulse. Yeah, here. I, I opened up the obligatory uh, cat exit. Can I, as a cat, I want to take that knife and stab you. Yeah. Right the... <laughs> All righty then. Yeah, this is fun. Oh, we start. Yeah, F6. <laughs> no, not F6. <laughs> yeah, I'm just F6. kind of... Uh, F6. I think I've already f 6 automatically. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad, but yeah. Uh, no, I was just looking to see if there was like uh, anywhere here that I can jump up or any any like extra routes, but... Oh, so... Uh, yeah, that bridge. That bridge and no other way. Follow that cable, baby. You cannot be clever here. You just have to follow. Now you've done it. It's not being funny, but Doc's got that freaking thing. Yeah, I was going to say. There he is walking up to the outside and boom. Simples. Yeah, the thing was there is that uh, he he fo he followed you. You didn't need to follow the light. Yeah, I, I I quickly learned that after um, um, the first couple of things. I, I I figured that he was following me. So yeah. Yeah, I died there because I went full Rambo. <laughs> uh, kamikaze and just jumped across and ran then i realized that wait a second while i'm on this side uh my second my second go around i just stood there and let them go into the light and they all killed themselves and then i just walked my merry way on up there <laughs> no big deal well, that's what I thought when I first saw him standing there before I even put the fuse in. I thought, well, if we're we're activating this this thing that's capable of, you know, killing these zerks, then surely you can help me come back. So, yeah. I, I had an inkling that that's what we was going to be uh, doing. Um, yeah, I did, I did too, but I wasn't sure. I missed <laughs> the part where he walked out with it, and and then the part where 
once you go around the building, he can no longer. Yeah. Um, seeing so yeah, uh, I got just obliterated by them because there were so many. Instead of just jumping across the bridge and just stand in there and let them all come to me and die, and then casually make my way back like you just did. Yeah, I I I, I bum rushed it and ran the <laughs> ran the whole way and watched them explode, and, and I almost made it, but then. I had a couple of latch on and I couldn't get them off to jump up and died. But yeah. So I, I, I definitely died a lot more than you. Uh, just due to the the way I play games, which is just go. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of actually thinking about it, but I, you know, but like after I die from going the kamikaze route, uh, then I go, okay. Uh, Let's actually use what we have. Think about it for a half a second. <laughs> and it's like, oh, yeah. That works. But, hey. Amazing. You got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely your way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount it to your drone. Ew. Drone's a little bit small. Unless you're going to shrink it down there, Doc. It worked. The deflector is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant for the run to run off such small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's get back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Hey, do you want to take a 30 minute uh, break for the ladies' room? Your toilet break? I mean, I, I mean, I mean a, 30, a 30 second break, not 30 minutes. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I could do the, I could do it getting the drinks. So, uh, yeah, give us, uh, give us a sec, guys, and we'll uh, reconvene very momentarily. Yeah. All right. So let's um, head home. I thought you were talking on the fan there for a minute. <laughs> you were in a parallel universe. Pretty sure that I would press buttons in the Walking Dead game without contemplating consequences. That's why if I, I like Knox streams in which he gives us some thoughts and asking questions and the plots of the game. That gives more in-depth to the game, which is why I had a great time with those streams. My questions are raising when I play games all over again. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad you enjoy the way I... I play games, Mika. Yeah, I think that's why a lot of us watch. Uh, the way you approach stuff, you know. Yeah. And uh, you definitely, you know, it's logical. Uh, you definitely pick up on things that I don't pick up on. And you, at the same time, there's some things you miss that I pick up on, which same difference really i mean yeah one way or the other doesn't make any difference in the game itself uh, but yeah it's working great but as i suspected it can overheat let it cool for a bit when that happens i hope it will last until we reach the village or it will yeah Yeah, this this made it kind of fun, but also I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll just see how you interact. The switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. Maybe if we had a nimble type of creature that could find another way around. All right. What could we do? Okay. I think I see what we do here. <laughs> no, not that. To me, I went the opposite way. I rolled it. I rolled it to the railing. 
Okay. Same difference. Same same difference. It's just that it's funny to see they gave both the options to roll it either way, but uh, it's funny how some people see rolling it one way better than the other, even though it's the same thing. Well, I see, it was just the fact that I'd, I'd already seen like where I needed to go, so it just made sense just to move it out the way as quick, like the easiest way to move it out the way. Yeah, and go from oh, there, that's what I'm so. saying. Uh, whether you whether you moved it left or right, same difference. But uh, for me, for whatever reason, I wanted to move it to the railing, even though uh, it made no difference. Oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah, I took a different strategy that uh, your problems take. Yeah, that you'd be like quite uh quite good. No Dead. <laughs> Yeah, I died here too. I think I died everywhere that these things were for the most part. Just because I I like like when I came in here, I didn't even bother using it. I made it almost to the end without using it just by running and and taking certain routes. So and I finally ended up succumbing to using the UV light. Yeah, that's the one thing. Make sure you don't use it until you start sparking. Otherwise, it takes way longer. Yeah. Noted. Ooh, that was close. Let's get back home. That ain't gonna be the end of it, let's be honest. Mm. Hey, he kicked the box. This walking style is quite unique. I guess this is gonna come out of the other place where his son was, where we first came into this area. I did notice the second door. Dude on the right looks like he's ready for Mortal Kombat. It's Raiden. <laughs> Raiden, Raiden. Yeah. <laughs> 